Good day everybody, it's Jim, Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf here in beautiful Chilliwack. Today's video is going to be about Lynn BBQ on my Raspberry Pi. I'm using Jason KM4ACK's Build-A-Pi script. Let's get to it. Okay, let's get at it. So we've got Pat and Direwolf both active, so let's shut those down first. Let's stop modems. Let's also go into manage pat win link, pat login log out, and let's just log out. Okay, fresh start. Now, let's go into accessories. There you'll find BPQ config generator. Now, if you have an existing BPQ configuration, this will read it, but we're going to start create one from scratch. So let's fill in the node call the A7SHG alias, I'm going to choose SHG, my grid square locator, I'm just going to do a four digit one for now, CN99. Now let's set our sysop and username first. So I'm just going to use Jim as the username and pass as the password. This really can be anything but you should make it somewhat secure. And now let's tick web management interface. That automatically adds our telnet port for us. Let's also enable BBS, chat, whatever else you would like to enable on this. I'm also going to enable CMS access. Now that is a separate topic on how to get CMS access. You need to have a WinLink account and then request CMS access for your account. We can do a separate video on that if you'd like later. For now, let's enable it. And I will enter my WinLink username and password here. And let's write the configuration file. OK, and let's close out of this. Now let's start up terminal. Let's cd to linbpq directory. And then let's type period slash linbpq. That will start up our linbpq site server. Let's open up a web browser. And we're going to go to 127.0.0.1 colon 8080 which will take you to the BBQ node software. Here let's go into terminal go down to the bottom let's type question mark and there we see we have the Lin BBQ software running we can get into the BBS Okay, that's great. Control C to stop everything. Okay, let's go ahead and add a radio port to this. So far we have internet access to our LinBPQ server. Let's add a radio port. So let's go back into our configuration generator. This time let's read existing configuration. This will pull in the details we entered in last time. Saves us some typing. This time around we want to add a port. Port number is 2. Here we're going to choose KISS TCP. ID can be anything we want. I'm going to call this Direwolf VHF. Hostname 127.0.0.1, your local host, that's correct. TCP port here is incorrect. We want to make this 8001 and channel A is correct. Let's save that and let's write the configuration file again. Say OK. Close this. Go back to our terminal. Period slash lin bpq. You notice this time around now we have two ports running. Now, we pointed this at Direwolf, but Direwolf isn't currently running. And you can see we just got an error down there. So let's start up our PAT menu again. And let's start our packet modem. That will start up Direwolf. 
And because of Jason's scripting, which normally opens up Pat menu, this time around, it's going to drop us right into the BBQ node software. So now if we go into the ports, we see that we have a Direwolf VHF port set up as well as a Telnet port. That's excellent. If you'd like to see this in action, refer to my previous video where I access this and do WinLink. That's it for today. Thanks for sticking with me. This is Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf 73.